an absolutely beautiful April the 12th evening and because it's so nice I'm heading north up the A1 I'm heading to Misson Car It may be a fair few miles to drive to to get to missing car here and the track may be a little bit bumpy in parts. Thankfully, after having spoken to the local farmer just now, it's dried up considerably and they've, like every other farmer, have never known a spring or a winter as wet as this. But the track is surprisingly dry. I thought it was going to be far worse, but... Either way, the drive to get here is an extremely pleasant one. It's been a beautiful evening and it still is. The sky is going to be clear this evening, so the forecasting. But there's only a thin crescent moon and the temperature is forecasted to stay mild. What could be better than an evening moth trap in here at Miss and Carr? Well, 8.25 and we're up and running with the light which is just warming up takes a minute or so to gain full brightness and you have to have a choke or what's called a ballast if you're running an MV light that's because power has to be regulated to the bulb so you need a choke or a ballast to regulate the amount of power going to the bulb a nice fine and clear night is predicted temperatures mild certainly very mild for the middle of april it'll be interesting to see what moths and how many moths actually come into the light it may well not be as many as you're thinking or expecting this is a funny time of the year very much a changeover period and more about that in a minute or two after I've had a cup of tea. Well, still awaiting the first moth. It's on its way to getting dark. But I mentioned earlier in the video a few minutes ago that moth numbers tonight may not be as high as what people think. Forget those heady nights of last summer. This is April, and April marks something of a transitional period. And if you're new to moth trapping, you may think, well, we've gone through February and March and had decent numbers, so by rights, we're going to get more as we go through April. But April is a transitional period where those high numbers of several species during late February and March start to decline, numbers drop. But we're also before the start of those species that do start flying properly in spring. It's very much a crossover period. You'll get some late stragglers of certain species that you've been recording for a while. And then you'll get the first of those new species for the year, those spring flying moths. So there may well not be a lot of ink used on the notebook this evening, but I'll keep you up to date on that. In the meantime, we await the first moth. Well, quite a selection of diptera has come in, but we have had two moths in, just the two, and one new for the year in the form of oak tree pug. And I'll, because it's gone, I'll put you a nice photo in, or hopefully a nice photo. Nothing brilliantly attractive about it, but quite well marked for some individuals. And this one was fairly dark. The other moth that's come in is a Hebrew character, which I think we had here when it came in February, and that was very early, I remember. And Hebrew characters are probably round about the peak or just starting to drop off in numbers now, but one's come in and gone again, and that's it, to be honest. Very quiet, but not unexpectedly quiet. At times, it is quite breezy, and I'm very sheltered here. I was originally going to 
put the sheet just over the gate on the side there and then once this breeze started to get up I came and we're over the entrance gate itself now which is more sheltered but still prone to the odd little bit of breeze so it's a temperature of 12 degrees we'll see what the next month's going to be well that's the general vista you can see by the trees what breeze there is a lovely setting here and handy having the gates because I do prefer to have the sheet hanging over a gate or a fence one reason why I like to to trap here it is a very special place I'm sure there's an old saying that suggests quality over quantity and indeed that would apply here because a few moths have come in yes a second Hebrew character has come in we've just had first common Quaker but three really nice moths and two are especially interesting but moth that has just come in is a lunar marble brown I'll try and get some footage of this to show you if not it'll be a case of dropping photos in but this is a moth a very attractive moth actually that flies during April it's predominantly a species of woodland but it will turn up in suburban locations I've not had it at home but another moth trapper who traps locally to me has recorded it as another oak tree pug comes in so lunar marble brown is it in the two special species species representing quality even though one is technically common but I don't know of any previous missing car records and the moth is in here hopefully I can show it to you but otherwise same rule applies photograph time and it's a streamer it's one of the most beautiful of the geometries that we have and it flies earlier this year and is an absolute stonker of a moth a beautiful thing I'm hoping to say that it settles down and I can show you some in live footage but otherwise you'll see what an attractive moth it is from the photograph that you've probably looked at or are looking at at this very minute so that seems to be a new species for missing car but unfortunately not all the common moths get broadcast quite often greater emphasis is given to the rarities and I dare say this moth may have been recorded here before but one moth that hasn't and I've got it trying to settle down now is a scarce prominent and that's a big surprise because scarce prominent is a very much a Sherwood Forest speciality with odd records occurring elsewhere and the furthest north in the county for scarce prominent is Clumber Park we're a good few miles north of Clumber Park right in the very north of the county and so I was very surprised when this one arrived in it's taken a while to settle down but hopefully I'll be able to show it you in a minute or two so we're doing well be interesting just to see what comes up and hopefully the quality over quantity will continue and here is scarce prominent it's quite a prized catch in Nottinghamshire and Dillis and myself over the years being fortunate enough to trap in Sherwood Forest we used to catch this moth early in the year on many occasions sometimes in decent numbers it is quite beautiful as is typical of many moths that fly early in the year quite subtly marked and it really lacks any prominent markings apart from the cream coloured spot on the forward edge there otherwise the moth is marked from that forewing edge in like a beautiful chocolate brown and that gradually fades into greyish and there are odd markings darker markings in that grey area it's a beautiful thing and on the thorax here the thorax isn't terrifically hairy but typical of many prominence generally brown 
and then just touches of whitish greys and then right on the top of the thorax a cream coloured area a lovely moth I say much prized in Nottinghamshire and a lovely moth to see here I didn't expect this moth strange angle with this but I just wanted to show you because this is an absolute cracking crane fly and it's our largest crane fly that we have here in the UK if I remember right brilliantly marked wings just look at that and this is Tipula maxima and it's not a species that I see every day and there's been two specimens in and I must admit I didn't expect to see this so early in the season but it's a large thing if I put my grubby finger you'll see just how large this is and this is a male fabulous thing and next to it there being blown in the breeze is an oak tree pug there's more moths come in a water carpet has just come in but I thought it's not very often to see this so I thought I'd show you this, this is Tipula maxima our largest UK crane fly couple of interesting moths come in one is a moth that I rarely trap in fact I might have only trapped my first specimen of this moth last year and it's a powdered Quaker quite a beautiful moth the other moth that's come in is a pale prominent and that's quite early one of those species that will be on the wing in the coming weeks commonest moth of the evening so far is oak tree pug with four or five specimens but once the powdered Quaker settles down we'll see if we can film that so we're doing well and quality over quantity is being continued and maintained Well, we're going to get a brief look at this, but I will put in a, a photo. This is that powdered Quaker. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's a second one in. These, in terms of Quakers, are very large. They're as large as many clouded drabs. And I'm quite excited to, to catch this species. It's not a species that I caught until, say, I don't think, I think it was last year when I caught my first ever. Beautifully marked, they're very aptly named and they are, they have a sort of dusty powdered appearance and that might sound obvious because of the name, but they just do. Very little in the way of markings in the specimens that I've seen and caught, but just that row of dots across the wings and very little else. There's a hint of a kidney shaped mark and an oval quite a large and robust moth and this is nice to catch there are some really good moths coming in not many but we're doing very well in terms of species and in fact it's turning out better than what I thought so that's part of Quaker now here's a small but beautifully marked moth typical of early spring and this is a least to black archers it's one of those moths in which can be easily confused for a micro because if I put my grubby forefinger you can see that this is a small species but it is fairly common I think it's increased in Nottinghamshire often can be found in Sherwood Forest on the trunks of trees during the day and I have had this species at home so it's highly likely that you may see this moth if you trap in a suburban setting so that's leased black archers now here's a typical and rather beautifully marked early spring moth and this is one of three purple thorns which are in now uh, i never catch many purple thorns usually in just ones and twos three is well it may well be a first for me you'll commonly get this in your garden if you're trapping a suburban area most sites will at some time get this moth along with early thorn We've not had early thorn this evening beautifully marked purple thorn is more contrasting 
and more darkly marked than early thorn both rest in this posture which is typical of all the thorns an absolutely beautiful moth you'll notice that there's a crescent like marking on the upper and under surface of the four wings beautiful things the whole ground colour is almost a pinkish brownish grey and then you have those darker brown markings in some specimens that can be even darker than this one and then just underneath those beautiful markings again super moths that's purple thorn one which you will get in your garden Well, we're doing very well, actually. Better than what I thought. Pebble Prominent has just come in, a, a rather fat female. And that's one of those species that will be flying now for a few weeks. Done quite well for Prominence, with Pale Prominent also in. But if I go down the list of what moths have come in, we've got Oak Tree Pug onto 10 Oak Tree Pugs, five Hebrew characters, three streamers, which will not sit still and be filmed for love no money so I'm taking one back home to photograph tomorrow I'm not sure what photographs I've got it's certainly a long time since I did photograph streamer super moth purple thorn we're now on to four a couple of common Quakers four to five lunar marble browns pale prominent which I mentioned two powdered Quakers uh, least black arches three water carpet that pebble prominent which is knocking around somewhere and also the only micro and that's female incuvaria masculella which has dropped in so I'm quite pleased with that list the time at the moment it's five past ten so not even two hours I'm quite pleased and even more pleased now that in the last sort of quarter of an hour or so that breeze seems to have died down whether it's just a temporary thing i don't know but it certainly makes it far more pleasant and allows the moths to come in i've not had a chance to see if moths are flying around a lot but it appears as though they are because they're starting to come in now but not big numbers as a thought but a pleasing array of species well, I know I don't like to do in the pot shots. And I'll certainly make an exception for an out of the pot shot. This streamer has thankfully settled down and it's settled down on the side of one of the pots. I do have one potted up to take home to photograph, but what a fabulous moth streamer re really is. If there's ever for a reason that you need to get out your trapping gear and go out on a cool April evening or any April evening, it's this moth here. To try and trap this moth, although it's not rarity, it is one of our most beautiful geometries that we have in the UK. And I'll be hard pushed to find another geometry that really rivals this. The ground colour is a greyish, unusual sort of colour. can often be suffused with almost purple. And then there's those sort of painted on lines. They're quite beautiful. It really is an absolutely stunning moth. And I will put a photo in just to show you how nice this moth is. But I always love to see this. It's a fabulous species, not an everyday species. You won't trap this every time you go into your local woodland, but hopefully one time you will. And hopefully you'll get one that plays as confiding as this one has done. It took a while, I must admit, and I didn't think I was going to get a chance to film one. But what an absolute beauty.
just coming up to two hours of the session having passed and we're going on quite nicely we're on to 15 species now of which the last three species since I did an update have included yellow barred brindle clouded drab and waved umber combination of clouded drab there being one of the last of the year probably but new species for the year in the form of yellow barred brindle and waved umber they've not stayed but the commonest moths are indeed oak tree pug and Hebrew character which continue to come in but not great totals have got double figures of oak tree pug and are about to go into double figures of Hebrew character and that is what you would expect really from a site like this at this time of year so we're going to keep at it and see if we can drag some of them what's in I still think there's a real rarity on the cards. It's not like me to be optimistic. Well, admittedly, not the busy sheet. You probably associate through previous videos of my trap in here at Missing Car. Those days will come, and they'll come with the warmer weather and the peak season for moth trapping between sort of June and late July but this is a busier sheet and trap than I expected on the way here there is that breeze and if you stand in that breeze it really does feel quite cool it takes the edge off the temperature the temperature at the moment is 11 centigrade which is absolutely brilliant for the middle of April and moths are coming in of course it's just that breeze or indeed some places are recording quite strong winds and that's affected many people's trap counts and species counts over the last couple of nights despite really mild temperatures for the middle of April so I think I've done well here at Missing Car this evening and we do have a few moths to show for our troubles. Well, we're just approaching 2300 hours, well, 11 o'clock. And I think I'm going to call it a night. There are better nights to come, but this has been great. Glad I came here tonight. Decent species list. And some nice moths to take back and photograph tomorrow in the light of day. The number of moths coming in has quietened down it has slackened off a little bit in the last sort of quarter an hour 20 minutes and so i think this is as good a time as any to start and pack up just see if anything else does drop in of any real interest and then make tracks for home i always like the drive back from here and hopefully this one will be equally as enjoyable as all the others. So, time to pack up. <laughs>